What is going on guys? Today we are looking at La Liga League player. So it is going to be Lewis Miller. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know what I'm thinking about him. He looks relatively okay. I feel like the first round is always going to be a little bit touch and go with these sorts of players. A free star, free star, high, high work rate, um, 5'9", right footed. We've got finesse shot. We've got some good traits. We'll have a look at the... Um, this just in a second but we have got it in managerial masterpiece as we know before it is very very similar to last year obviously you can't just bronze bench it anymore unlike we did at the start of oxford and then they changed it so we've got to win 10 matches using only la liga players in 11 matches oh no with your starting 11 so again it's just a, a standard 11 la liga uh, score 30 goals using la liga players in friendlies um assist 20 assists with a through ball in five matches and score oh no they've gone for this again to be fair it's not it's not necessarily awful but this one was always annoying because we know that people are if, if you're just going for the outside of the box shots people know to just block that they don't need to really tackle it is already hard enough to score them as it is and we've got to do it in eight separate matches so it's going to be a bit tough in terms of getting it done in 10 because in eight of them, you need to score outside the box. And obviously, you do need the 30 goals. In terms of a card, it, it's not a bad free card, to be honest. you got the finesse shots, which is pretty funny on a, a CDM. Um, 85 defending, 84 physicals. Not terrible. I really can't um, grumble too much. Great composure on him. Interceptions look, looking nice. Stamina's up there. Um, in, terms of, in terms of a card, to be honest, I think an anchor would actually really suit this card down to the ground. I wonder if Footbin have him up already. So if we was looking at him, an anchor would turn him into a 90 DM. That's pretty good. Agility balance is looking okay. Um, what is he? 5'9". Yeah, right-footed. 87 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. People are going straight out for the shadow for him, which would give you, to be fair, 93 defending, 88 pace, which again would make you a 90 uh, CDM. So he would get that massive pace increase instead, which I think possibly could be more of the move, if anything. Um, I think getting that pace will be absolutely huge. So he's going to be an interesting one. In terms of, obviously... Um, a team we're going to have a look because we need to build um it's in objectives let's have a look so we need to go to play we'll go into friendlies we'll then play online and okay there is always a problem with it so in the managerial masterpiece it is a 77 max team 188 rated or higher or higher only one of them one loan and there can only be um, gold players so there's no such thing as silvers so realistically what you're doing again like um, previous it is 75s only on the bench so the, funny enough i'm in my spanish team anyway so if we went with um so we go uh just put m m l put la just so we know what we're using it for and then if i go into the formation i personally play it's going to be difficult because I feel like a lot of people have probably already sent a lot of these uh, kind of golds into upgrades, into everything like that. But if we just whack, for instance, this here, and we'll just kind of give you one example of what a team could be. And again, you're going to be looking at all of the uh, kind of lower rated um, La Liga players that are relatively decent. So Dest is going to be a huge one. We could potentially be seeing Suarez as one. Um, and we're going to go with... Normally, it's good to kind of get a good balance of overall rather than going for like the stupid, uh, crazy players. You want to be looking like Vinicius, I can imagine, will be one that we'll see quite a lot of just purely for the fact that he's 80 rated. Um, so if we just start to whack a few of these in just to kind of show you what we're kind of looking for in terms of a player um, we could probably go with at least another 80 we again want to find somebody who's kind of very op for their rating and i'm assuming there's going to be loads of them isaac may be one just because he's 82 you might be able to get away with it but then have maybe 75s kind of all around the back and again especially because you could definitely get a better keeper, but definitely because of the fact that you uh, need the outside of the sh uh, outside of the box goals, you're going to have to have a very competent keeper, just because you do not want somebody who cannot physically do it. So we went with so that's 78. If we went with a 75, that does drop it down. I wonder what sort of rating we can get with it. But to be honest, it's a it's a pretty easy objective. I don't think that you'll struggle too much with it. Um, and even if you just keep playing the matches, I think it's relatively fine with that. We'll just quickly have a quick check on a few ratings to see if 76 keeps it there. 79 keeps it there. So it is just 
potentially 80 that can go um, and then obviously we will keep it like that. So if we go with 80, this potentially might take it over, which it does. So we need 79. So you can kind of see what sort of level we're looking for. I would realistically look at a lower rated left back and go with a higher rated right mid because I'm personally trying to attack more. And even the goalkeeper, to be honest, if normally if you concede, you normally leave because you don't want to be playing the whole match unless you've already got a goal or two. Obviously, we need 30 goals. So just as many as you can get before somebody can quit is the best method because we need to get that done. You realistically need to score three goals a game with at least two assists each game to get it done in a whole game and also then scoring a through ball and obviously an outside of the box to get it done in them 10 games. So it is a bit of a grind, but again, it's very it's it's very much there forever. It's a milestone, so it will be there for the whole season, I believe. Or oh, I think it's there in actually forever. So get it done. Let's see what we can do. And the review will be down below once that is complete. And it will be on the end screen also. So hopefully you liked and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.